days. Most of you guys have been following along on Facebook um, on this solar generator build and the test we've been running on the ARB fridge. The first test we ran was in a very controlled situation. Uh, we were indoors, it was air conditioned, the fridge was pre-cooled and really I just ran that as just some baseline. Just wanted to make sure what I put together in this box worked and that it was safe and that it did what I thought it would do. Once we had that test running, it looked like it was going to run for quite a few days at the rate it was going. So I, I decided to just go ahead and cut it short after 34 hours-ish. Um, the battery was holding its charge very well. The fridge wasn't really getting worked. And a lot of you guys wanted to see a test where we could actually put a little bit more stress on the system. So we decided to move it outside. Um, we're going to do the test now, or start the test now. It's currently 95 degrees here. Um, the temperature on the exterior of the fridge is 98.2, if that focuses, maybe not. Um, the water is 87 degrees, and I brought this water out, and we're going to load up the fridge with a bunch of warm water, so I'll have to make the fridge. Uh, work to cool it all down. Uh, the battery is fully charged. Again, there's going to be no solar input on this test. We're really just testing uh, the capacity of the battery and how long it'll be able to run this fridge outside in the heat. So I just unplugged the fridge from the wall and now it is running off the uh, solar generator. Um, the setting on the fridge is set to hold 34 degrees. Uh, so what we'll do next is open it up and load it up with a bunch of warm water. So we just finished loading it up. Um, if anyone was wondering, and I'm still surprised right now, we got 40 17 ounce water bottles in here. Uh, and I still actually have room for, I also got eight cans of Coke or eight cans of whatever you wish to put in your fridge. Um, so definitely plenty of space in these. If anybody's been thinking about getting the ARB 50, 50 quart fridge, um, it, it's deceiving about how much you can actually get in here. I guess one thing you have to always remember uh, the difference between these and a cooler is you don't have to carry ice. So all that wasted space of having to make room for the ice, it, it just goes away and everything you see in here is just space to put stuff in. Alright, so that's it. The test is set up. Fridge is full of water. Fridge is connected to the battery box over here. Um, the compressor, you can already see it's on, so it's working to cool those waters down. If you want to follow along with the updates of how this test progressed, check out our Instagram or our Facebook, both at Clueless Overlanding. I'll be posting pictures and a detailed update of kind of just where we are, how far we, in our, how far we are into the test, and um, just let, kind of let you guys know there. Um, if you like seeing these things, uh, please like and subscribe. I'll be posting a detailed video of this uh, solar generator and the specs and what I bought and how I put it together. But before I did that, I wanted to run some tests. I wanted to make sure that it was worthy of you guys copying it and putting one together for yourself at home.